Hello everyone, I'm Renee Lobo and welcome to the Renee Lobo Report, bringing you issues of topical interest. Today my guests are going to talk about the upcoming 7th Annual Seek Art and Film Foundation's Gala Benefit and uh, celebrating the rich art, culture and traditions and the immigrant experience of Sikhs in the United States through documentaries, films and short stories and telling us all about it. We have with us Mr. Teji Bindra, who's the president of the Sikh Art and Film Foundation. And Mr. Bindra, of course, is a very big prominent businessman, a community activist, and his family is the one that's uh, been responsible for having the Sikh chair at Hofstra University. So it's a pleasure to have you again back with us. Every year I know you're here for talking about this uh, great Art and Film Foundation. So thank you for coming today, as well as Vikas Khanna. Vikas Khanna is a celebrity chef, as well as a creator of Holy Kitchen series. So it's a pleasure, Vikas, to come back and talk to you again, because I know that you've been doing a lot with this uh, Holy Kitchen series uh, in terms of you know documentaries and showcasing the rich you know kitchens of uh, you know where we talk about uh, you know langar. So this is where it comes out. So this is wonderful to have you here with us. And of course Andrew Blackmore who produced the uh, Holy Kitchen series. Thank you Andrew for coming here. Thanks. Uh, let me talk to you, Mr. Bindra. Seventh annual gala benefit and going strong, uh, especially after you know 9/11. This was a uh, amazing thing that you brought out because uh, people wanted to know the Sikh identity and uh, where they come from, their culture. And uh, by putting this Art and Film Foundation together, you've really done a tremendous job bringing this culture and the rich heritage uh, from Punjab of Sikhs and the immigrant experience and they, you showcase every year. And uh, this time the gala benefit is going to be from the 21st to the 23rd, so three days. Uh, exhibition, documentaries, short stories, films, and um, and again, networking together. So tell us first of all the genesis. I know we talked about the identity was the most important critical issue that was uh, brought out to the fore with this uh, foundation. But again, you know how it actually came to you as a brain show, you know, in your brain. Well, Rene, first of all, thanks for having me here. It's always a pleasure for the last seven years. I think I have the pleasure of coming to the TV station here. And I must tell you, it's with the support of the people with us that we are able to find and probably grow every year into a bigger and longer event. Right. Like you just said, we have a three-day festivities, but we actually had four days. We had one day children's film festival also on October 9th at Hofstra University. Right. So now there's three days of festivities, starting with the inauguration of an exhibition called Trias with Trees, which has been curated by D.S. Jaspal from Punjab, who is especially coming here. It will be inaugurated by Her Excellency Praneet Kaur, India's Minister of State for External Affairs, at the Consulate General of India on 21st. Following that, on 22nd, we are going to have a film festival at Asia Society. Red Carpet is on 22nd. We have three wonderful movies to be shown there. And one of the movies that we are showing, Vikas is here. Right. It's Vikas and Andrew's movie called Holy Kitchens, the Langer, you know, the Institution of Langer. And of course, the next day, there's again shorts and documentaries, and to be followed by a fantastic Safe Heritage Gala at the prestigious New York Public Library. Right. Now, I know this has been your brainchild, this foundation, uh, with the support of other Sikhs. I think we have a great team. I'm very proud that we have a wonderful team. Nothing is a one person's job, it's a team effort. There's a saying, you know, right. it takes team effort to make dream work, you know? Absolutely. So we have a wonderful team. I mean, deep thankful to each and every member. So on October 21st, you, is it going to be the consulate? Yeah, that will be at the consulate. It's an inauguration of an exhibition. And the concept is wonderful. Because what they're saying is practically every religion talks about harmony with the nature. Mm -hmm. And uh, among six of them also, that is the case 500 years back. But that is perhaps probably the only religion that we know which has named 52 Gurdwaras after trees like Bedi Sahib, Rita Sahib, there is 52 Gurdwaras named after that. So and this was done by the Guru Sahibs mm -hmm. more than 500 years back. So that's a wonderful exhibition. D.S. Jaspal has done a fantastic job. He's a very senior IS officer himself who has curated this. So that will kick off the celebrations on 21st, yes. I see, and then 22nd is at the Asia Society? Yeah, that will be the red carpet Asia Society. Uh, there'll be three feature films we are showing that evening. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them, of course, is the Holy Kitchens. Right. The other two we are uh, showing there is Harvest of Grief. And the third one is Rebel Queen. And you know, we try to bring across all aspects of the uh, things. 
Certain things may not be very good. Harvest of grief is a sad story how farmers in Punjab are committing the suicides. But it's, I think as, as, a, as a Sikh Art and Film Foundation, we, it's, it's our job to make sure we bring out the good and the, what's not so good. What about The Rebel Queen? Uh, that's such a, that's one of my favorite also movies. No? This is a movie about a girl who is the daughter of a camel rider who becomes the favorite queen of Maharaja Ranjit Singh, Rani Jinder, wow. and who gives birth to the legendary Maharaja Dilip Singh, who was abducted by the British, mm -hmm. and she fought the British not to let the Mar young Maharaja Dilip Singh become a puppet in their hands. Wonderful. So it's a fantastic, and that's why she's called the Rebel Queen. Oh, I see. And the 23rd is the... Uh... Uh, 23rd, we have two clusters, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. There's a cluster on shorts. We have five beautiful shorts to see, and there's, I think, six. And then there's, again, four documentaries. And one of the... That's at the New York Public Library. No, this, these will be, again, at the Asia Society. Oh, I see. The film festival is being hosted at Asia Society, okay. both on Friday night, as well as Saturday late morning, okay. and also afternoon. Okay. And I urge people that, you know, if you get a chance, come and see the diversity of the films. Because the filmmakers are from across the broad spectrum. Mm. You'll see two of them with me, True. Vikas and Andrew Blackmore. You will see a lot more of them. And there are, of course, some Sikhs, Indians, but there are a lot of people from all nationalities. We are showing a film called Stranded in the Straits. Uh, it's made by a Spanish couple. They're both flying in here, Alberto Gonzalez and uh, Luis. And this is a story about 57 immigrants from Punjab were taken by a smuggler, they're supposed to go to Europe, and he takes them to Africa. So it's a story of the struggle. So you know, we have all movies from all facets. I mean, there's a fantastic movie about called Nothing is Impossible, yes, about the legendary 98-year-old Foja Singh, who started running after 80 years old, and God bless him. Show a couple of years ago, he talked about his marathon run, and it was a great inspiration to see such a great person coming and talking. He's a pure vegetarian, and he told us about his diet, how he runs every day. I think it was a great inspiration to every one of us, Boja Sengji. Exactly. He's a very simple person, but what he has done is of a great magnitude. Absolutely. So there's all kinds of movies that you will be seeing. There's Kana Badosh is there. There's other documentaries. There's a, we have made a movie which we have co-sponsored called Uncommon Journeys. Mm -hmm. It's about journeys, uh, uncommon journeys of four common people. Mm -hmm. you know, so there's all kinds of movies that we are trying to show and showcase. And we are hoping that with the support of the entire people in the tri-state area, that we perhaps would be able to take this to the Lincoln Center next year. That's wonderful. Hopefully I'm with sure God's you grace. Do because it's the seventh annual. It's getting bigger and stronger every year. So I'm sure, God willing, it's going to be great for you because I think it's a great way to project uh, the achievements and uh, the, the, the joy, the sorrow of the Sikhs and their heritage all put together annually. I think it's a wonderful way of uh, putting this out. So I'm sure people would love to see this getting bigger and bigger.